Welcome to The Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. A 38-year-old woman in New South Wales has died after contracting COVID-19. Adriana Midori Takara was a Brazilian national in Sydney studying accounting. She had no underlying health conditions but became critically ill after contracting the Delta variant of the virus. She died in Royal Prince Alfred Hospital over the weekend. Meantime, the COVID lockdown in Sydney is set to continue well past July 30. New South Wales Police Commissioner Mick Fuller says the high number of positive cases who spent their entire infectious period in the community remains the major concern. The way the Delta variant is running through Sydney at the moment, I can't see it's getting down to zero for some time. State Cabinet meets today to consider the extension on the lockdown until at least September 17. Over 5,000 people have made reports to Crime Stoppers after an anti-lockdown rally was held in Sydney's CBD. At least 90 people have been fined so far, including one paramedic. Victoria is set to end its COVID-19 lockdown at midnight tomorrow. Premier Daniel Andrews says while the stay-at-home orders may be lifted, some restrictions will be maintained. Briefly, it's believed four of the 20 crew on board a cargo ship off Western Australia have COVID-19. 75% of Aussies are expected to complete the census online next month. The Bureau of Statistics has been forced to make changes due to the COVID outbreaks. And the latest COVID-19 cases involving the American and Dutch teams has forced the International Olympic Committee to remind everyone at the Games to always wear a face mask. Mark Adams from the IOC says there's no excuse. Whatever stakeholder you are, the IOC, media, athletes, everyone, you know, it's not a nice to have, it's a must have. In more Olympic sporting news, Australia has made a winning start to the men's basketball at the Tokyo Olympics. The Boomers beat Nigeria 84-67 to after leading by just three points at halftime. In football, Spain's beat the Oli Roos 1-0. Meanwhile, at the pool, Ariane Titmus will compete for gold in the 400-metre freestyle today. Emma McKeon will compete in the 100-metre butterfly. Australia is currently seventh on the medal tally. One gold, one silver and one bronze on our belt. China's on top with 11 medals, including six gold, followed by Japan and then the US. In entertainment, new snaps have emerged of J-Lo and Ben Affleck getting cosy just a day after she took their relationship public. The singer posted a series of snaps to her socials, celebrating her 52nd birthday on board a yacht, of course, at Saint-Tropez, including a pic of the pair together. And M. Night Shyamalan's latest flick, Old, has taken out top spot at the US box office, raking in $16.5 million US dollars in ticket sales. That's your latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.